Hello and welcome. My name is Tracy with Mountain Grace Arts. If you are popping on, say hi. I'm going to go over on my other screen here and hopefully I can get you up there too so I can just see who's here. Make sure I'm on live. All right. Good. All right. Looks like we've got things going on over here. Oh, hold on. We might be echoing. Sorry. Get the volume off. Okay. Hopefully that's good. Um, I'm excited to share with you. So like I said, my name is Tracy. I am with Mount Grace Art. I am an artist, a creator. I've been doing this for a little over three years. It kind of happened on it during the time of COVID. I don't know how many of you had that. I and mean, I shouldn't say that word, so we won't talk about it anymore. But um, anyway. I just happened upon being able to create, and I realized I really liked it. I joined a paint party group, which some of you may already be in, called Paint Party Headquarters. And Heidi Easley is one of my mentors, so I um, get excited to share stuff that I have um, grown and learned. And um, meaning not her stuff, but more what I've, I've taken away from it and how I'm growing because of it. Um, because of her, I learned that I can paint and I didn't know that. But as I was going forward and doing paint parties, I realized I wanted something more. I wanted to do my own artwork for one and sell that. So doing so, I, um, started joining some of these events and not really knowing what to do with the events. So um, that's how I ended up here wanting to teach you guys because I researched and researched things in order to go into events and do things. And um, so when I did that, I realized there's nothing out there like this for anybody to like bounce ideas off of each other or learn um, from mistakes and things like that. Am I the absolute expert on being a vendor or doing markets or doing big, huge events? No. But have I researched a lot and have a lot of information? And if you have a question, will I go and find it for you? Yes, I will. And so as I'm finding things out and learning, I want to share that with you. Um, so this group, I devised this free little group here, um, and this will be little tips and pointers, um, but I also will be launching on um, April 1st, I think. Let me see what day it is. Um, I'm gonna be launching a membership, and this membership, so not April, April 3rd will be the day I'm launching this membership. But you can join as you're finding value of this group. You can join any time. It's just April 3rd is when I'm going to be letting everybody into that group. But if you join before April 3rd, then you get the founding member. Price. So that's my little spiel about that because you'll probably see that in the um, guides if if you want. But anyway, going forward, I wanted to at least have this free group for you um, to learn and grow. And so with that, I created the five tips, which you can um, get. I don't know how I did that, but you can get them in the group. But let me see here. No. You can get them in the group, um, but there's supposed to be a way for you to um, 
download it. And I don't know if I did it correctly. So if not, I will change that later. Um, anyway, going forward, I want to go over the five tips this week in depth. So with that being said, um, when you download it, you're going to get sheets that look like this. And this is the first one. Um, and so my first tip on that sheet is to plan ahead. Planning ahead is super important, okay? Um, when I was finding out things from the different vendors and um, what to do, I realized that I wasn't getting the information. When, like, they'll take your money. They'll take your money. Here, have my money. You know, they'll take your money, but they won't, um, they won't, hello, Facebook user. I am using StreamYard. I don't know if there's a link there, but if you can join StreamYard, then I can see who you are. Um, unfortunately, that's how that goes. But, um, so, yeah, the vendors will take, or the market people that when you're going in will take your money. They will take your money, one, to just apply for the event and two they will take your money to just sign up for the event but will they will give you no information other than they'll have some rules and you have to follow their rules so the rules may be um that you have to have a certain size tent things like that right so planning ahead is important so before the event plan out how you want to set up your tent consider the layout the products you will be showcasing and how you want to display them. Make sure to also check the regulations of the farmer's market to ensure you are complying with any requirements. So that's where I'm going with that tent thing. So when you do your tent setup, what um, is your product and how are you going to display this product within your tent? And then what do you need to display it? Like there's, there's many things that you could use to display it. You could use lifts, you could use um, pedestals, um, you can use little crates. Um, so when I display my things, I use crates for my paint party kits because I do, when I go to market, sell my paint party kits. And then two, I also um, use other... Um, easels and things like that to display some of my artwork that I want to sell, right? Um, so going forward, you got to know what you're selling and what you want in there to sell um, and how you're going to display it. Um, and it can be expensive to do that. So at first, you're not going to want to just pile a ton of money in there until you know exactly what you want for um the the products like if you want if you want to even do that market like there's certain markets that are not for what you're selling so in other words like i went to a market in the winter that was a kids market and i could see there when i was at that kids market that not everybody was doing good that not like they normally did and it wasn't really okay it was kind of geared towards kids because it was during like a santa express type thing and they had the santa thing going on and it was more in like a little talent show thing it was more, there were more kids there. It was families coming there with their kids so they could go see Santa. And this was just a little market there for the kid, the parents to just kind of browse around while they're waiting to be able to get on a train to see Santa. Well, as I was talking to some of the other vendors, I was realizing this, this is not for everybody. And for me, uh, at that market, I still struggled a little bit, but I had kid things. So because I had kid things, I was selling things. So you want to research that market by planning ahead, planning ahead and researching, okay, has this market been around before or is it the first time? And if so, 
what types of people are going to be going there? Are they going to be the types of people that you're going to be able to sell to? So make sure that when you are doing your due diligence of that, you need to research that market. And do you even want to join it if it's not? If you're selling um, high-end boutique items, which one of the girls was doing at that place, she sold zero, zero dollars. And she usually sells out of her boutique stuff at any other place she's at. But she didn't realize it was only going to be geared towards kids, right? So going forward, she, she opted out the second weekend. It was two weekends in a row. Um, so it didn't work for her. If you have products that you can switch off and on from, then that's what you would want to do. You'd want to switch those, right? So you want to at least do that. Now, I've researched a lot of things out for you ahead of time to let you know what is going to be good and what's not. Um, and I apologize if you are um, commenting for some reason, I'm not getting the comment. So um, hopefully we can get that fixed, but I will go back if you have any questions on this. <clears throat> so my biggest tip for today is to plan ahead. Make sure that your following those rules that they have for you and that you're planning out what types of things you're going to sell in your market. Okay. Now that's for the marketplace. There's also a plan ahead for if you're going to do a big event, like a big paint party event. That on the other hand is a little bit different that you're working with the restaurant and the venue. Now, when I work with um, restaurants and country clubs and places like that, I make sure that one, they need to, by any means, um, cover their tables, have the seating and check their lighting. Lighting is huge. So please plan ahead for your lighting. I have had, <clears throat> we've made it work and in, terrible lighting, but you want to check the lighting. So if you're doing a big paint party type event, that kind of event, then plan ahead for those things. Oh, and if there's going to be a lot of people, are you going to be able to scream and yell to get out to that? Or do you need equipment for that? Which I have like a little um, speaker box that I um, have a headset and I can talk and paint and do all the things. So so breaking it down, you want when you're planning ahead for markets, you want to plan ahead what type of market it is, what type of people are going to be there, and what their rules are so that you can plan ahead on what type of displays and how you want to set up that display, right? And then if you're doing a painting event or some kind of big event at a restaurant or something, then you're going to want to make sure that you're covering yourself as far as sound, light, and then that the tables are covered. Now that's up to you if you want to um, supply cover, table covers or not. It depends on, for me, most of the time at a restaurant, I will bring my own table covers, just disposable ones. Because for me to pick up, I could just throw everything in the middle of it and wrap it all up and throw it away in their, in their garbage. So those are the kind of different um, tips I have for that. So um, I'm excited to go over all the five tips we did plan ahead today. Um, and let me see if there was anything. Oh, one more thing with your um, events, you need to check with the requirements. If you're doing two different things, like say, for me, I do some woodworking projects. Um, sometimes I'll have ceramics there and then I have my paint kits. Sometimes the market will require you to have either more than one booth or pay extra for more than one thing if they don't want to um, lump it into all doing all the same thing. So you need to learn that. So I kind of tell them, 
well, I'm a paint party business. I'm selling my paint parties at my vending event, but I'm also selling my artwork and take home paint kits and things for them. And most of them are just like, okay, you can just do all of it. Well, hello there, Lori. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so yeah, uh, you just have to make sure that you're following those rules and regulations. And I, I have done so much research on all these events that I finally, finally found a niche of where I can kind of narrow down to what is needed for these. And I realize this is what is needed. Nobody here on the social media world has something for us to go into, share our tips and our tricks, but then also um, share our um, mistakes and things like that so that we can help each other so that when we do do these vending events that they grow. So I just... I just wanted to come on and make sure that um, we have a place for this, right? That we have somewhere to go to help each other. And that's my biggest goal for all of this is to help you. And, and then I will feel better about the fact that when I do all this research and beat my head on the side of the wall because I can't find the things I need, that I've shared it with other people so they don't have to struggle and do the exact same thing, right? So I am going to come on live every day this week and go over each of these tips. I'm going to break each tip down um, one by one every day this week. And then we can talk about it, chat about it. If you have questions, just put them in the group and I'll answer them for you. Um, but I hope that this is going to be of value to you. I'm, that's my goal is to help all of you and bring value to um, your businesses and help you grow your business and hopefully have fun, accessible markets. And um, I just can't wait to kind of take you on this little path of learning and hopefully it'll all be great to all of our benefits. All right. Well, have a great rest of your Monday. And if you are watching the replay, hit hashtag replay. And if you've left any comments or questions that I might not have been able to see for some reason, I will go back and answer any of them that you need. But if you are watching from Mountain Grace Arts, go on over to Vendors Edge and join. We would love to have you over there. And the rest of these videos, will be on Bender's Edge. I will make an announcement in Mountain Grace Arts to let you know, but everything else will be held right here at the Vendor's Edge group. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.